Which is the best style helmet for gravel riding? Is it a mountain bike helmet like this? Or is it a road helmet that I usually use? In this video, we'll look at the key differences and they're not just cosmetic. Look at that, what a lovely misty morning in the West Highlands of Scotland. I should say at the outset that any helmet is better than no helmet when you're going to ride off road, but there is more to the differences between a road helmet and one of these mountain bike helmets than style, fashion, and this little peak on the front. This is one of a series of videos we have for new and returning cyclists. If it's of interest, look for the videos with the purple border in the series Stuff Cyclists Don't Tell You, and please subscribe. If you look back through the adventure cycling videos I've made, then you'll see me mainly wearing this black cask helmet while riding my gravel bike. But after a ride leader course, I learned that not only did this shape not really fit my head particularly well, I discovered helmets should be changed after five years. I did a video about how to check your helmet, but essentially just look for the date sticker inside and if it's more than five years old, it's worth replacing. So I bought a Giro helmet, this white one. Giro helmets have always fit me well and this Helios is no exception. I've used this on many rides this autumn, on and off road. But then something happened. It wasn't that fall, that was just the camera, but I did take a fall during that ride in Kielder. My wheel dropped into a muddy pocket, it stuck there, and I just flew over the bars, what my friend Alistair calls a Captain Starfish moment. That got me thinking and doing some reading. The sort of fall you take on road is usually more of a slide, whereas off-road falls are typically, like mine, dynamic and involve a bit of flight. The impacts, therefore, are quite different, so perhaps the helmets should also be different. And they are. Mountain bike helmets have become much more than a road helmet with a peak. They're shaped to offer more protection to the back of the head. What's more, the foam which absorbs the impact is different too. Road helmets typically have larger air vents, which means less protective foam throughout the whole helmet. So the remaining foam has to be tougher to give the same degree of impact resistance. Because there is physically more foam in a mountain bike helmet, that foam can be a little softer, which some research suggests is kinder on your skull in a typical off-road crash. There's been very little research on this, so don't take it as gospel, but it's suggested that this is better for an older rider. This is Liz's ancient mountain bike helmet, and you can see from back then it looks like a road helmet with a peak. Compare that to her new one. This has more coverage at the rear, and the foam is integral to the outer shell. They're not just glued together. And the extra coverage at the back of the skull for those Captain Starfish crashes is obvious. Have you any idea how hard it is riding and filming a helmet? It's really tricky. So this is probably going to be the helmet I use for more gnarly off-road routes in future. It uh, has that extra protection at the back as I showed you, and it also has MIPS system built in, and that helps the sort of twisting, shearing forces. It certainly feels quite a bit heavier than my road helmet and uh, I can't wear my usual peak cap underneath because I think going double peak is probably even worse than going double denim. I think in summer it's going to be warmer than my road helmet because it doesn't have as many vents, but that might be a blessing in winter, uh, although I think I'll probably end up having to wear some sort of cap underneath it too. So we have both switched to Giro helmets because they fit us. I added the reflective tape. We bought Liz's and I bought my own road helmet and I was given this one by the distributors. Now, this will not make me take greater risks. I'll hopefully pretty much forget it's there. But if I have another over the bars moment, I might be glad that it is. If this has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up, check our other videos and I'll see you again next time. Bye.